However, it starts to be painful after our project is getting more complex and that's why we spend more time uh, for uh, working in Excel. Generally, today I just want to show how we do in Excel and after that I would like to show how Asta can help you because of similar approach and but much professional. And I grouped my work as a design and construction uh, so that here uh, I have some small sample projects which I would like to uh, focus and design works uh, we have four tasks which we call A, B, C, D and construction we have again A, B, C, D so that we have uh, time for it. I just make a duration which is duration is just mentioning about the duration of the work and, and also for construction these are the duration which is that the task A will be four days, task B will be 15 days. Of course Excel is flexible. I can even do it here some calendars for example January 2015 and from here I can just go to February and I can create it here for example time schedule and, and from here I can also easily start making planning that I'm just going to start for activity A and during the, this time and in February we are starting for activity B and also at the same time we are starting for activity C so that I can just do it. I saw this, many people are doing it and similar approach that this will be the summary of the uh, let's say for design works and similar approach people are doing also for cost distribution so that this is we call gun charts so that I'm just creating here some simple Excel schedule. This is very simple but at the same time you can see that what I am doing here is not impacted in duration. I can use some formula which is that I can create an Excel some formula even it can be calculating automatically if I have skills of the Excel uh, macro and so on. But we created this also we have cost we can also distribute the cost which is that we can say that well it is 2000 and I would like to spend 25 percent during the January and I just want to spend the remaining in February so that I can also distribute the cost based on time so that I can have here the cash flow which is I can just the summary here based on this so that I can also go and distribute it here this one divided three and I can just repeat the same one and here let's go to divide it as you see that I'm not good in Excel uh, so that I am just selecting this one and divide it three I'm taking your time, uh, please don't get bored, we will move in a moment. My aim is just showing that you can do really anything with Excel if you would like to just, we can have it even graphic here, we can put some histograms and we can have our own methods. But this is a single and anything change which is that if the duration we extended here, it has to be recalculated and it, it has to be really rechecked and it's very important. But let's say that, okay, let's not go this side, but we have this scope and I just opened the same Excel file in Asta Power Project. By the way, this is the same, every single data. Let me just make it here, we can just check, okay? So that Asta is very Excel friendly, which is that I can see the designs and construction, duration of work, cost, and these are the income and all the net values are here so that I just jump from Excel to professional project management software and now this is time for me to plan by the way uh, when I just open here I can the same in Excel I can just go select the cells go to format cell just to change the currency 
change the colors, change the font, so that it's very similar, so that if I am Excel fun, Asta is the perfect tool because this is the software which is very similar to Excel. We have file the same, we can just the print it here, we can see that who was the creating this file, last updated, save, save as, and we can go to ribbon bar, so that it is very similar than Excel. If you spend a little bit of time, very fast, we will understand. But the advantage of Asta, these are not open and empty field. These are ready defined for calculated field, which is that actual start date, actual finish date. I can here come and add, for example, start date. When I add the start date, system shows me start date, so that these are I can change the start date of the work without just manual entry. And plus, this field automatically distributing my time schedule, which is we are starting today, and this is the first activity 20 days, starting from November and ending up in December. We have here for the same for activity B, and the same for activity C, and the same for activity D. So that I can also select and move very simple way for activities based on my requirements. And of course we have full critical path calculation because that we can create a logic between activities and it provides us also critical path calculation. Critical path calculation is very important which will give us easy understanding which activities are most important because if the activities are critical we need to give high priority. This is very important. If I have thousand tasks and it is important for me to know which tasks are critical. Of course this approach also provides for me the histograms which histograms are giving me my project cash flow and my monthly cost and my monthly income. So that this is very important for me to see my scope, my time and my budget at the same platform. These are fully integrated. What does it mean this? This is critical activity but this is not critical activity. I have float analysis. The float analysis shows me always, let's schedule it, float analysis show me always that which activity is not critical till when. This is the line which is saying that activity B is not critical and it can be finished even in the middle of the December so that I can just select and move this activity. You can see that I immediately get impact on cash flow because these are integrated. Or I can decide making my job not in one week, but four weeks. It will also show me impact on the my cash flow. Okay? And also we can just make it more advanced. Let's select here, for example, options that we will just focus on the only cost and delete all these things and create it from the beginning, which is very simple, or from the Excel which is we can go, uh, we can create it again Excel, but new one, which is we can call, this is activity A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I'm writing this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, these are the work, which is excavation, electrical design, the door installation, roof preparation, so that I just type it this way to not lose too much time. You can write it the task name. And duration, let's say one day, like text, one week, one month, two days, five days, uh, two weeks, ten days, four days, let's say zero day. Even I can type here cost, let's say 100, 300, 400, 500, so that I can type it here, some cost. Okay, so that I have this. 
what I am doing now, just select, copy, and go to Asta, and pass. We see that list of the activities, durations. Remember that I was writing one day, five days, which is one week, and system understand five days because I have default calendar settings is five days working in a week. So that Friday and so sorry, Saturday and Sunday is holiday. One month I wrote it, system understand these are duration is a working day. I can of course change this. I can say duration not working day, but duration for calendar days. But it's more convenient for me to have working days, which is I can plan properly. Of course, I have here the cost. Systems tells me that I have, let's say, grouped, let's say, A to activity E. Let's say that these are the work, which I would like to group as a design works, so that we go and make it as a design work. And from K to F, I also want the design as a, let's say, procurement. Okay? And I can select from A, B, C, D, E, and I can say link those tasks. I can also select here, and I can say also link those tasks. So that what I make, I link that activity A will finish, and then activity B will start. When I schedule it, you can say that these are the design works, these are the procurement works, and here I have my cost of project, which is end of November, I need to spend $827. End of December, I need to spend $1,814. And end of January, I need to spend $259. I can even create a logic between design and procurement because it's so that design and procurement is starting at the same time, which generally not possible. I need to have at least some design documents to be able to start my procurement, and which I can say, well, 80% design finished, and we can start procurement. I created the logic links between the work breakdown structures. And please see that it just changed the many things. Critical activities changed and also duration of the work changed. I have design works 33 days, procurement works 24 days, cost of design 1,600, cost of procurement 1,300. And if I change anything on the design, just the postponing, please focus on here. It will immediately impact the changes on the cash flow. And also, I can also apply for holidays calendars, which is that this is also important, because December in Europe we have Christmas holiday, so that generally uh, people are not working during this time. And if I open the calendar, it also applies and show uh, starting from 21st of December till the January 3rd is a holiday time. So that this activity, actually, as you see, the activity A started even before it is a five days work. You can say that it started the first day, but it ended up in January, so that it stayed calendar time almost three weeks, even activity itself is five days. Because during the holiday time, we are not able to work. One day work, then two weeks off, and then remaining four days we are doing it. Another example, if this activity delay one day, even the activity is two days, the activity will start in the 14th of December, but end up 5th of January. That's why calendars are very important and professional scheduling softwares are uh, calculating that kind of calendars view. Okay, so this is in Excel way, but do we really need it in Excel? Uh, it depends. 
uh, I mean, you can do it the different way. I mean, if you created an activity, let's say, uh, let's say excavation. Excavation is, let's say, 10 days work. It's systems created here 10 days work. Let's just uh, go here for the date perspective. Let's say start. And I would like to edit here also finish dates. OK. And now I started activity called excavation. And then I can draw it here another one, foundation. I can create it here, isolation, and here I can say that, let's say, first floor, let's say, slab, or let's say, first floor, uh, concrete, let's not go very deep. I'm just a drawing, and here, second floor, concrete, I'm just creating here, work, and here, third floor, concrete. And you see that I'm just creating this one, just a drawing without any link. I can also go to cost, which is I can estimate it, well, excavation is a 1,000. You can see that it's distributed 1,000 end of November. And foundation costs 2,000. And isolation costs 300. First floor concrete costs 3,000. Second floor is 3,500. 3,500 and 3,000. You can see that I have now cost, I have scope and the work which I prepare. It's very simple way which I did. But when I just group this work, let's say this is the fourth floor, let's say. Yeah. And I can say that this is a uh, group, let's go and call uh, foundation. And this is a Floor. When I schedule it, please see that it can move back for the start date because I didn't create the link. So that I can also create the link, which is that it's very simple in Asta Power Project. You can say that, okay, when excavation in the middle, foundation will start, which we are creating now logic between the tasks. When, let's say, foundation is 20% stock, isolation will start. When foundation finished, first floor will start. When the first floor 80% finished, second floor will start. 80% finished, third floor will start. 80% finished, this will start. So that when we schedule it, you can see our schedule is done. Even the first activity delay, it will impact that the rest of the activities are delayed. It's very simple. You can create it by this way that you can get the, uh, your plan. And later, we save this as a baseline and start to get our uh, project schedule. Of course, uh, there is other ways also which we are always saying that ASTA can be used in many uh, ways of scheduling, which is we can create it this kind of approach, just the draw, drawing the activities. And, and let's say that we can give it the code type of work. Let's say I'm responsible too many, uh, too many, let's say, tasks, which is uh, different type. Uh, let's call that here the house type. Yes. Okay, this one, this one is this kind of colors. Okay, and this one, this one, and that one is uh, this kind of work. 
and each color are represent a different type of uh, work, which is I'm sorry, I'm this. okay. Also, okay. I created some work, which is each of them are different colors. I copy this. Let's say that these are the moving this sides. Okay, um, let's just select some of the works. Also, copy and paste. Okay. All right. So that I just changed some tasks so that I have too many works and each colors are represent some discipline. Okay. So that what we do, do we really need to go one by one linked because we are not planners. It's very simple in Asta. You can select all your work which you need to do. You know type of work, start date and end date. But what we do, we just make it all our task as a one activity, which is we need to see overlap works. Because the each colors are represent the one discipline and one person responsible to do that, we can just move and avoid the overlap tasks. You can see that these are the tasks which is overlapped. And because of this, I'm just moving the same task and avoiding the, uh, the work conflicts. Okay? So that when I open this, I can see that it's sorted. When I selected all tasks, and link it and reopen it again, I have completely created logic between the tasks with the special leg, special link and the link types. And now if my planner want my schedule in Primavera, I save as go to Primavera format and save in Primavera format. If my planner wants from my schedule in Microsoft project format, I can also save in Microsoft project format. So that it doesn't matter my client, my planner, who wants which format, we can save it according to their expectation. And it will be no data loss, it will be just the giving the creating the works as they, they described. And this is one method. Another method which we do, let's say that very fast we can create it some task which is let's create it three floors simple interior works which is I created here and go to coach and I just want to create it for example uh, floor level call let's call this activities like brick work and let's say that this is a first floor And this is a second floor, and this is third floor, and this is the fourth floor, brickworks. I can even here add for the codes, which shows the floor levels. And I select and save the second work, let's say Gibbs works. And let's say that Gibbs works are a little bit shorter which is when, let's say, that it is uh, much faster we can do. And then we do painting works. When I open this, it showed me the first floor, second floor, third floor, that first floor brick works, second floor brick works, third floor brick works, fourth floor brick works, so that I can also create a logic like planners are doing, but we don't have time and we don't need to do that kind of approach because we are not planner. We can just select all our projects and we can say that I would like to link automatically because there is some logic between brick, gips and painting. I need to do brick works, then plaster, which gips, and then we need to make painting works. Link the tasks 
system asks me, do you want the link, the last brickwork finished and the Gibbs work start, or would you like to have corresponding links, which is that first floor brick finish, second floor uh, brick start, so that I just choose the second option and link it. It's created all link. When I schedule it, I will see the logic. Please see that system created all the links automatically. And I have schedule, I have critical path, I have float analysis, all done. It's very simple. I can again go and save this in Primavera format or Microsoft format and provide it to my schedules. It's, it's very simple. Of course, I can add it here cost, I can add it here duration, I can add it here uh, all the information which is also required. Even uh, we are not planner, but we can even apply for required resources. We have list of the resource. Let's say this is site engineers. This work and this work and this work. We need a concreters. You just select here resource. Yeah. When you select, you just bring it inside of this work. So that it will be just when I go here. Please see that cost of these activities are immediately changed because we assign the resources and system automatically calculate required budget to be able to work in this activity with this required and demanded resource. The same for material resource, the same so that as the power project integrated time, integrated scope, integrated cost plus resource planning so that you can also plan what type of resource, what type of material you need to complete your work. And it's very simple. Uh, you can you can create it that kind of things. And one last thing which I want to mention also, which is that many of our customers are not planners but designers. So that one of the, our requirement also today, uh, how we can uh, how we can uh, also open design documents. Uh, which is that we need to open design document together with, let's say, uh, design document together with uh, uh, schedule. I have Primavera file, which is, uh, let me just, uh, I have a visual basic problem. Okay. Right. We can also open the completed projects, which is very big schedule. We can go and open, for example, some uh, project design documents and schedule at the same time together with Asta Power Project. We are having a couple of other sessions, which is presented to us how we can do the BIM together with ASTA, which is that this is very important process, which we can also create it uh, drawing and schedule at the same time how we can manage it. So that ASTA Power Project is for the scheduling software, which allows you to be able to open Primavera file, Microsoft file, or ASTA Power Project file together with uh, 3D, 3D model, which is very easy to understand what we are planning, what does it mean activities uh, during the, uh, during the uh, design phase or so that this is very important also to say as the power project is providing all the 5D scheduling options and if you follow up us in LinkedIn or Facebook and social media or contact with our people, we will be happy to share with you in the next time how you can integrate a design, which is CAT files, any CAT files or the 3D models with schedule. We will be happy to provide you that kind of webinars as well. I think that today our time is uh, just uh, uh, enough to speak about this. And if you would like to have more, uh, more detailed presentation, uh, please contact with our people and uh, they will be in contact after this. If you may need any extra presentation, we will be happy to provide you 
uh, another uh, session, one-to-one -one session for your uh, company needs. Thank you very much for your time and have a nice day and greetings.